Hello everyone, welcome back to My Heavenly Babies. I'm Angel and I'm back today to share my nursery with you guys. Now my nursery is in my living room slash dining room, which is one big room. And it at one point was okay and then it just became overwhelming and it was more like a nursery nursery versus like a collection in a living room. And I just didn't want um, to have it that way anymore and I wanted it to be more organized. I'm a very clean person. And so, you know, my husband was so good about it, but I know that it had to bother him the way it was to have to walk around all the bouncies and all that. So my uh, son came over and helped me, and I'm going to share it with you guys. I started off with my prayer wall. That way you guys could see that this is where I pray. I sit right there on the chair or kneel, and I pray right there. But look at it, it says home because heaven is home. I thought that'd be perfect to put that up there. But down the hallway down there, that is the bathroom, and then there's two bedrooms down in there. We don't have to worry about that, but it's bedroom that I do some things in there that I can't use for a nursery because I've got a lot of I do like nails and stuff my own acrylic nails and I've got like seriously like 8,000 no I'm just kidding 800 bottles of polish maybe like a thousand bottles I'm on the wall I have a lot of shoes I'm a shoe collector they're all along the wall I love fashion so that room had to be used for that and then the other room there that's our bedroom my husband and I's bedroom and then the bathroom this isn't a real big place but the living room and dining room is huge and the kitchen's nice size but yeah that's where I pray and I want it to be facing this way because when I turn around you're going to see how beautiful the uh, nursery is and then of course that's my um, Wizard of Oz I'm a huge Wizard of Oz fan and so I've got a lot of unique pieces in that cabinet there I mean really really old pieces um, I've shared it before with you guys um, in the very beginning I think I've shared this or on my other channel but it's hard to see everything. But yeah, I'm a huge Wizard of Oz fan. So I've got all my Wizard of Oz stuff there and my Dorothy cutout. Uh, that is my kitchen there. I've got to get some dishes done in there. But that's my kitchen. And then those containers right there are the containers I use to paint babies. I've got the Atlanta in there and Dee's um, Sarah Lynn in there that I'll be working on. That's where they stay inside the container. So Dee, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. They're in a container with the cover while they're drying from their paint and things like that. That way they don't get dusty. So, but anyways, that's part of the nursery stuff right there. So I'm going to be going the opposite way. But anyways, there it is. And then when you go, there's the front door. When you go out, you know, go out or in, there's the front door. Now I'm going to turn and just show you. This is so amazing. I wish I would have done a before picture, but you guys kind of seen my nursery. I did a nursery tour um, in the very beginning when I first put it all out. But I got way more, way more bouncies and swings and all kinds of stuff in here. And it just was taking up so much. And I'll explain the wall that it was on. Um, but yeah, this is so much better. Even my son agreed that it now doesn't look so much like a nursery. It looks more like a collection and, uh, but still really cute. There are some areas that do, but anyways, we'll start off with just one of the babies is on this side. That's my pickle. He's going to stay in the swing right there. Yeah. My beautiful pickle. And I do, you guys don't worry. I do keep a blanket on top of here over because the sun comes in. I just have it uncovered right now. So you guys could see him in there, but I keep a blanket there during the day for when the sun comes in. But as you see, the sun now is not facing that way. Um, but I keep a blanket there just so that he doesn't get the sun on him like that. You know what I mean? Just because of his vinyl underneath is the Gerber baby that I have some ceramic babies. That's the original flirty, uh, Gerber baby. The eyes move. And then the one behind her, I can't remember that, but I've already showed my uh, porcelains. I'm not a huge porcelain collector, but, um, yeah, I just, I have a few. I'm going to be putting them differently though. I'm going to show you when I show you the babies, I'm going to show you that I'm going to be changing that. Then, of course, I got my TV here in the corner. This is where the Christmas tree will go at Christmas time. Now, this is where the couch was. When you guys were watching my videos, that would be the window that I'd be sitting at, you know, on the couch would be right about here. I'd be sitting there and then you have the window behind me. And now I have it moved to the other side. But, yeah, there is my Gabriel. He stays, stays there. He's the only one on the other side of the room. But now as we go around, I've got my fish aquarium. I've got three fish now. Um, and I love it because it can do all different colors. But I've got a pink, a yellow, and a blue fish. And it's Barbie, Ken, and Skipper. So the blue is Ken, the yellow is Skipper, and the pink is Barbie, of course. And I can just show you. I know you guys probably already don't even care about this, but I can get it to change different colors. That's my favorite look because they're glowfish. So I love that look. So I might keep it on there. But yeah, I just thought it'd be cute to have a little fish aquarium in here. I got my Nemo on there and of course in the aquarium, but it's a little table there. Don't pay any attention to the couch here because I've had to sleep on the couch uh, due to a lot of reasons. One, my back. I can't sleep in the bed as good anymore, even though we have a wonderful bed. The couch is just easier because I can sit up a little better. And, of course, my husband's been sick with pneumonia, so um, he is getting better. But prayers would be great, you guys. Thank you for uh, all the prayers lately for things going on. And we're still dealing with the other issue. Please continue prayers for that. But, yeah, he got pneumonia. So um, I you know, wanted to stay apart from him there. But I have the couch set up because this is where I sleep. 
I sleep here. It's a chase lounge. I have a chase lounge. See, it goes like that. And this is an ottoman right here. This is an ottoman. And the blanket's on there just because I put that out every day because of the dog. She lays on the couch and I just don't want her to get, you know, I mean, she goes to the bathroom in the house on a potty pad. I'm sure she walks kind of through her pee a little bit, probably. I don't know. But just to keep it so it stays nice, I leave that down during the day. And then, of course, I pick it up when I lay down and I lay my blankets down. But, yeah, so please don't pay any attention to that. It's just little things, you know. It's just those are not like, you know, like my, my uh, couch is dirty. Those are just stains that are on there from me. Baby powder, uh, doing the... Um, babies painting and all that it gets on this and that's why I just keep that sheet there during the day for her so you know it doesn't get um all my pretty blankets underneath and everything don't get ruined or the couch or whatever so yeah that's pay no attention to this 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 is just my setup to sleep but anyways here is the the wall I've got to get my other picture I have a picture that I had over there but because I sleep right there this glass picture I have another one um it's all the old this is the up-to-date people there's Stallone and all that up-to-date people the other one was the um uh, more back in the 50s people and um, I took it down my son said mom I want to take that down because I'm afraid you're sleeping right there and literally that picture weighs about 60 pounds and it's just flat as can be it's got sharp points to it you know there's nothing on the back I have it up with hands um, those uh, you know with studs and everything in there I mean it studs I mean the anchors but he was just afraid that it would come down it looks like this picture is crooked I hate crooked pictures but anyways, um, so he took it down and we have to put it back up. We're gonna put it back up with metal ones. So I hate the way it looks right now because it's not even. There's not that picture on that side. I love that clock. I got it years ago. I had my, my brother had my name and he got it. It reminds me of the clock from um, Back to the Future. I love that. Titanic, this was a Titanic picture of me and my husband. That's back when I was a lot heavier. I used to weigh over 300 pounds and I lost a lot of weight. I lost 170 some pounds. But yeah, we did that picture when we first got together. We were together about a year there and I had, um, dyed my hair dark. I'm naturally blonde and it was dark there. But yeah, that's our Titanic picture. And then of course I got my Stallone. I got to kiss Stallone. Meet Stallone and kiss him. I love Marilyn. I've got another Marilyn here and the other picture of me and Stallone there uh, that my husband had done. All right, now we get to see the nursery. You guys are probably thinking, okay, where's the nursery? All right, this is my main wall and it's all my vinyls. It's going to also be um, my uh, vintage babies, my um, fantasy babies, and my porcelains, but I'm gonna take the porcelains down and I'm actually gonna put a board across here, like a five foot board across here, move that in a different spot and put my porcelains on that wall. Cause it just doesn't look right, it doesn't go with it. And you'll understand cause I'm getting more, um, I'm getting a few more uh, vintage babies and a couple more fantasy. So um, at least one more, I mean, uh, I won't have room up on the shelf, so you'll see. So one, two, three, look at this wall of babies. Oh my gosh. And you see how that just looks so much better. Now you're probably thinking it's so much better from what? Well, I had them on the floor on bouncies, doubled up on bouncies, in little cribs, in swings. And it was all along where that couch is on the ground and stuck so far out. And you can imagine with the chase lounge, it came around and we literally just had like this little area right here to walk through because the babies came all the way like out to here. So we barely had any room. So when my husband's seeing that, don't, this is just, paint. I got paint on there. <laughs> I had to clean that. Um, but yeah, look at them, you guys. Isn't that amazing having them where I can actually enjoy them? Now, what I did is the top shelf, like I said, I'm going to take those porcelains down. I got the bottles up there too. My newest grace. Um, I'm going to take the porcelains down and put them on the other side because that's all I have for porcelains. And it doesn't look right having the porcelains with my reborns. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take them down and put them on the other wall and then all my babies will fit up there good. But that's my fantasy babies and um, it's going to be uh, vintage babies. Then the second shelf down is all my awake babies. Okay. These are all my vinyls. All my awake babies. Now I have more. The pickle was a vinyl and I'll show you a few more. These are all my awake babies. So I thought we're going to sit them all up because they're awake. Some are just kind of tilting their little head. And I will one day go over and show you all my babies. But yeah, they're all my awake babies. Then the next shelf down, sorry if I'm making you dizzy, is my asleep babies. And I have them kind of leaning. If you see, they're all leaning with each other. I thought that would look cute because they're sleeping. So they all just lean into each other. And I don't want to, you know, share too many because I want to go over and, you know, there's... There's Maui, Sina. There she is, my uh, Liberty. Um, but anyways, there they are there, you guys. That's all the sleeping ones. And it just looks, I just think it looks amazing. Don't you guys think it looks amazing 
Like it really was a great idea to do that because of the fact that it was just taking up the whole living room with that many babies, you know, and that's not it. I have more and I'm going to get more fantasies up there. So then when those are gone, I can put the fantasies up there and the uh, vintage babies. All right. Then as you go along, you can see I've got decoration on the wall there. Still can be fun as a nursery, but again, you know, I wanted it to still look like a living room. And so I'll show you once I walk the other way. Then I've got my um, Isaiah, he's my silicone. I have one silicone up there, the avatar, but I'm keeping her separate from the vinyls. I won't let her touch, they're not touching, so don't worry about that, but she is a fantasy baby, so she's up there. I did her, I got her and completely reborn that avatar up there. She was an avatar, but I mean, I reborn her, and there's my vintage babies too, but there's my avatar. There's my newest moon baby, <laughs> Luna. But anyway, so there's a silicone, that's my Isaiah. And then as you see, it's just a little table sitting at this side of the couch there. Those are just uh, beautiful roses. As my husband gets me roses, I dry them and keep at least one. Then this is the area where I film, where I change the babies. This is a changing table. And this underneath is an actual, you know, because it's a changing table, it's the pad and all that. But then of course that's the uh, boppy to put the babies on. These are my little babies. I have little silicones here. You guys are probably seeing, they're my criers you know, Maria first cry. And then the really tiny one, that's authentic, the tiny one. That's an authentic silicone. That thing was like $400 for that thing. That's why I'm saying silicones. I mean, I sell my babies, life-size babies for only $625. And this one here was almost $400 for that little one or $300 and some dollars for that little one because she's authentic silicone. Isn't that just odd that a silicone can cost that much? That's why I like to offer budget silicones. Of course, they are budget ones, but I just mean price-wise. And then there's my other silicones. They've got their little bottles and their lobbies and all that, but I just keep them covered here. I don't even know why I have them covered. I should be sharing them <laughs> because I uncovered all my babies. So I am gonna uncover them. What am I doing? Silly angel, <laughs> like like the tricks, right? Silly angel, tricks are for kids. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's them. And then I just got some you know, little ceramic babies back there. I'm probably gonna take them out and put them on the wall with my um, porcelains. That I painted, my mom got that for me and I painted that. And I did the John 316 verse on there, um, you know, just to uh, have a verse that's one of my favorite verses. But anyways, I'll probably take them out, but if not, they're just inside there because you can't really see them when they're in there, but that's that. Then up here is more of my vintage, uh, st you know, these are just dolls now. Some more like vintage dolls, um, old dolls. We got the uh, Paddington, I believe is up there. Um, the uh, Gremlin, we've got Yoda. Um, just, you know, a bunch of different, um, you know, things. And I always talk about that shelf above me. And that's where I just hang the baby's clothes on the side when I'm doing the changings. But there's that. And then, of course, we've got where it says, this is us, our story, um, our story, our home, our love. So I love that. And yes, all this stuff's making it look more nursery now. This is the dining room part. Um, and then this side you see is all my Care Bears. I'm a Care Bear lover. So all my Care Bears, Cabbage Patches, I got old, old Cabbage Patch up there. I do have to dust um, at least the top shelf of the babies, and I just use one of those uh, magnetic, you know, dusters that'll just pick it up like that along, um, handle on it. It says, My Heavenly Babies. I did put that sign up. We got a poop up there, too, because it's a nursery. But these are just all different things I have in there, you know, just some fun things on the wall. And then as it goes along, then I got some more stickers and stuff there, the little light. All of the baby blankets now, because all the babies were covered, are in my little bassinet there. I'm going to do something different with that. It's just right now I got to figure out a place to put all the blankets now. Um, and then that uh, bassinet will be used for another baby. This crib here is all my other silicones. Now, the only silicone that's out was Isaiah. Otherwise, um, these are all my silicones here. And then I got a couple little stuffies in there. But this um, open eye babies are sitting up. I got to get a chair for her. I'll get one for her too, but uh, I got to get one for her. I don't have one. And then my sleeping babies, there's Bodie. Uh, Lisa, you get to see Bodie there. And there's all my silicones. We'll go over. You guys have been seeing a lot of them. I've been trying to share my silicones, but my sleepers lay right there, but that's my silicones. We have authentic in there and some of the copies. Then as you look down here, we've got my beautiful Nino. She sits on the king chair. And my beautiful Mariska, which is the Mila, she is a copy. I love her. She was just phenomenal off of AliExpress. I love her. And she is such a stinker. She loves to sit with her sister. And there's her doll. And then I've got the little tiger there. we got this pink rug. More Care Bears at the bottom. But at least I can get to the crib better. But like I said, that is going to be taken care of. All those blankets will be moved. It's just right now I didn't know what to do with them. 
So I'm going to stick them in my cupboard. I got to clean out my um, cupboard on the side here where I keep all the blankets. And I'll put them all in there because now I don't cover the babies anymore. So I don't need all those blankets now. Um, I mean, I need them, but you know what I mean? I don't need them to have them out now so I can put them away. And then that bassinet will be used. Maybe Mariska can sit in there, sit her up so I can see her sitting up or something. Or maybe put the Care Bears in it. Um, I'm sure I'll get more babies. So uh, I can put maybe another silicone or something in there. Down there, these are my... Um, I have three cuddle babies. Those are my three cuddle babies, and they just sit below the changing table, and they're taking up those chairs. There's my light. I just keep that right there and ready to go, so I film right there, and then we move over to here. So that's nice. I move over to here to the changing table, and it looks like it's uneven. I hate things that are uneven. It's just the blanket, but yeah, that's where I do that. But anyways, I'm going to back up here now. That right there is... Looks like a... <laughs> look messy. That is socks, bibs, bottles, pacifiers, uh, hair stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff for babies. I just have those two there. Again, that's my kitchen. Don't pay attention to those few dishes I have to do. Somebody come over and do them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, so that's all stuff too. Hats, you know, things like that for babies. And then shoes. There's also shoes. There's a bucket of shoes there, but there's also shoes inside of there. So, but anyways, now I'm just going to kind of step back and show you guys what I'm talking about, how big our living room is. Look at this. It's ginormous. So look at how much room we have. And I wish I would have done it before so you could see what I decided to do to make the living room this big. Now my husband said he's so happy he can walk through. He said I never was mad about it. But yeah, it was hard to get around. Now right about there, he'd like to put a chair to watch TV because he doesn't always want to sit on the couch. And again, please don't pay attention to the couch right now the way I have it set up because I've been sleeping there. My husband's been sick and I've had to sleep apart anyways from him because of that, but also because of my back. But anyways, yeah, so now we have all that area where the couch would have been coming down this way and going that way. And then all, oh, look at there's Minnie coming from underneath there. I didn't know she was underneath there. And then all along the wall, going all the way up to there was all these babies. The swing was over there. That swing was over there. Another little crib was over there. I mean, we had the TV right on that wall there. I'm sorry, it's blurry, but we had the TV on that wall right there. And um, even up to the TV, around the TV were baby things and stuff like that. So it was just not good, you guys. But isn't it amazing that I could take, I have like 50 babies that I could have all my babies right in my living room. And it just looks so pretty. It doesn't look pretty, all the color and stuff like that. But it looks good, though. You know what I mean? It doesn't look, I mean, somebody else probably will disagree and say, oh, that's just too much. It doesn't look right in the living room. I'm just depending, you know, everybody's going to have their own taste, but I, and everybody agrees, even my son, because he thought it looked weird at first, but he said, now, mom, it looks more like a collection and not like you're trying to have a nursery in your living room. You know what I mean? But yeah, you got all the color and the fun and the stuffed animals, stuff like that. I just don't know where else I would put it. Once I have a bedroom, a nursery, we are going to move and buy a home uh, one day, hopefully soon. Then I will have a nursery, you know, a bedroom where they all can go in the bedroom. But right now I get to enjoy them. And I will go over one day and show each baby as I, I show each baby. But I mean, one day maybe I'll go over and just kind of talk about my collection. But there it is. I don't want to make this video any longer. It's almost 20 minutes long. But there is my nursery, you guys. And isn't that amazing how the living room is just so big that I could have it like that. And yet it's still big. And yet I have over 50 babies in here. Isn't that crazy? And I can put a couple more in there so I can buy more. I got to tell Faye that I can buy more. And there's still room up there. I could probably fit some more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, you know, we don't want to get overwhelmed again and start putting them on the floor. So, you know, I'm just going to be careful. And maybe do, if I do anything, maybe trades and stuff like that. Right now, I'm just not really buying a lot. I mean, I'm getting some vintage that'll go up there on top. Just trying to, you know, not get too many more. But like I said, there is room to put a few. Like if I moved the care bears and did something different with that I could put a few of those chairs around so there's always room to put a little bit more if I found a great baby and wanted to get but I'm not really looking right now it would be more trades um one for one but uh, I'm so happy with my collection I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour my heavenly babies I hope you've enjoyed seeing this and how I did it I hope you guys think that it looks really great and really pretty and yes in a living room probably sounds crazy but look I'm showing you you could do it in a living room and living room and still have a living room. You know what I mean? Somebody would just know that, uh, hey, I'm a doll collector. You know what I mean? So yeah, I love it. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.